most of the time, because I am terribly fancy, I don't use the webcam that's built into my laptop. I instead use this rather nice Sony ZV-E10 with a 16mm f1.4 lens attached to the front of it. And that's connected up to my laptop over this HDMI cable here and via an interface box that takes that HDMI signal and turns it into something that all my apps just see as a webcam that I can use in Teams, Zoom, whatever I want. But today I have a new webcam. Actually, I didn't get this webcam today. I've had this camera for a while, but today it acquired the ability to be a webcam and it is this, the X3 from Insta360. This is a 360 degree action camera. You can see a lens on either side and it can capture a 360 degree video that you can use either natively as interactive video or you can reframe in ways that make it useful in more traditional video editing. And today, if I plug this in over USB, it can act as a webcam and it looks, well, let's show you how it looks. Let's switch to this as my webcam. It looks like this, which is quite a dramatic change, both in terms of the framing, more importantly, it's a much more wide angle lens, but then also in terms of the quality. And I don't just mean that this is bad and the other one was good, I just mean it's a different kind of uh, image. It's certainly something that re would require me to keep my office much tidier, um, not least because it can see much more, but also because everything's in focus now, whereas before I can keep things a little bit messy because the shallow depth of field of the f1.4 lens lets me get away with that a little bit more. So th th this is fine, right? And it's got two lenses, so I could swap from one lens to the other. But actually the thing that I first thought was just a, w a weird choice, but actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it, is I can actually switch the lens to being both at once, both the lens looking forward at me and the lens looking backwards. And, and you, as you can see, it split the frame in half. And this is actually how it first appears when you uh, connect this up to your computer as a webcam. Can you think of what it's for? Hadn't occurred to me. Put this in the middle of a conference table or you know, just like people sitting around having drinks or whatever, and you'll get to see everybody split across those two things, a little bit like a uh, university challenge with people on one layer and people on the other layer as well. It's actually a very clever idea. I think it is. Anyway, I won't use this much as my webcam. The Sony camera that I have is for me and the uses I have and the priorities I have a much nicer option. But hey, it's a free feature that's been added today to the X3 that I have that makes it even more useful. And actually, the ability to do the split screen thing, I can actually see there being use to that as well. Plus, I was on a call earlier today with a colleague and they said it looked like I was a DJ with this like super wide angle lens, which is very much my vibe. Anyway, thank you Insta360 for this new feature of my X3.